Welcome back to Itching to Scratch and welcome to Bunker Hill Golf Course in Medina, Ohio. The tips are playing just over 6,700 yards with the front being much longer than the back. Number one, par four uphill, 350 yards, but it's wide open. Driver, you saw me getting loose. This was 6.33 in the morning. A little cold. But I start with a good drive here, uh, up the left, up the right fairway, just fading into the right rough. I've got 65 yards left. Uh, I've got a 54 degree wedge uphill. And I hit it to about 18 feet, looking to putt uphill. I've got it going right to left and a little uphill. And it did not break, but it was good pace. And you'll see there's no dew on this green because they had just cut it. And so the pace was good. On to number two after a par on number one. Number two, 303 yard par four. Um, there is OB on the left. There's like a road right there, but it's almost drivable. The green is a little elevated, so it really takes a three over a 300 yard carry. So, so I do have driver here. Sometimes I'll go five wood. Sometimes I'll go hybrid. But if you miss it out to the right, you may have some tree trouble. But. It's 50-50 whether I take driver here. I took driver. And it's pretty much the same shot from, from hole one. Maybe, maybe pushed a little further right. But I'm in good position. About 30, 35 yards left. And you'll see a lot of dew. And when we get up to the green, you see they haven't mowed yet. So, Ugh, shanker. That was not in the plans. Chipping again. My favorite two words in golf. This one, I know the green slopes back to front, so I was trying to play it off to the right and let it come down, but it just it was came out too hot and just ran out to the end. So I've got this going left to right, and who is that slow? It was just... Obviously, look at the dew. I knew it was going to be slow. It's just hard to wrap your head around how hard you have to hit it when there's that much water on the green. So here I'm going to really give it a go. And this time it does go through. And it did not move right. I really thought it was going to be going left to right. With you know, the Green does slope back to front, but it just didn't move enough on me. So that is painful. It's just it was a good drive and then bad chip, bad chip, bad putt, bad putt for a double bogey. So I'm two over through, through two. Number three is a long par five. Water all along the right, the whole way. And I ugh, barely get it off the ground and I do burn it. Just, uh, well, short of the up tee box there, you'll see. So I've got forever to go. 360 or 70, something, maybe 350, I don't know. I got a three wood, and I'm just trying not to miss right. And I don't, I, I turn it over a little bit. Shot tracer wasn't perfect. It probably went a little higher and a little start line a little further to the left, but it did uh, it did draw back into the middle of the fairway. And now I have a wedge in hand, maybe about a hundred yards out, maybe a little less than a hundred yards out. The pin is in the very back, fifty four degree. And I hit a great great wedge shot in here to about eight feet this is about the most beautiful 
shot I've taken here on itching to scratch. Sun just coming up. I mean, dew on the ground. You'll be able to see the, the perfect line going right into the cup for a birdie. Or burn the edge for a tap in par. Two over through three. And this is the hardest hole on the course. You got water all along the right again, and you actually have a carry for water. And depending on how aggressive you take this line, um, you can eat out a lot of that lake. <laughs> that was poorly worded. I should really be aiming at those trees just on the right there. When I have really good drives on this hole, I'm just to the left of those trees and leaving myself a pretty easy shot in, but I, I started too far left and I hit it straight and far and it just went through the fairway into the group of trees there on the far side. I and mean, this is this is a hard hole. If you if you happen to hit the right line and the right carry, you make it very playable. But here I've got to go around some trees. 150 yards. I've got got an eight iron in hand that I'm trying to draw around those trees. So if I hit it real clean, it's gonna go long. And I hit it, maybe a little, maybe it jumped on me a little bit, but I hit a pretty good shot around the trees and it just went, it went to the back of the green instead of the front. And this is a long green, so I've got a long way to go through a lot of water. And I just come up a mile short. Taking the long walk. Hey, look! Make a little birdhouse in your soul. Got this After left for a par. Birdie. Got it going right to left through the dew. Hit a good one. Still, two over through four, so I've recovered nicely after that, uh, the shankful two, shankful second hole. All right, uh, on to the next. We've got water on the left this time, and I have a three wood here, and I am just trying to start it out there right, hopefully, hopefully out in the right rough is what I'm really aiming for. A lot of times I get caught up in those trees, but... That is better than the alternative of, of pole hooking it into the left water, which my misses lately have been pole hooks. So again, I'm trying to play this up the right side, leave myself 100 yards in or so, and I play it up the right, but it it wasn't a pole hook. This was kind of just a, just a good old fashioned hook. It started right up the middle and, and went left, and then I thought it was really gonna be right along the the uh, cart path here. It looked good, but I couldn't find the ball, so I'm guessing that it went down that hill into the water. So after a drop, I have this for my third shot. Just hits the side of the, uh, the green and bounces left. This is a pretty good hill right there. Just hit that hill and bounced left. So now I've got to get up and down for a five. And the ball kicked right on me, which is the way the hill was going, you know. Ball follows gravity. Got this for a bogey. Missed low. Double. Four over through five. Couple of doubles on the round, not ideal. So uh, number six, super severe dog leg left. Uh, you can cut off the corner if you hit it high. That 270 is from the up tees, so it's it's actually about a 330 or 340 carry to the green, which I cannot do. But I try to cut the corner a little bit and leave myself with about 100 in. That's my that's my prime position. And I started a little further left. I think the shot tracer that the ball was actually a little further left than that, and maybe not quite as hooky. But luckily, I cleared the the trees and left with 
a little under 100 from there, but in the rough, I'm usually a little further to the right than this, anywhere from 100 to 140. And this one, I push a wedge 54 degree out just to the right of the green. So trying to get up and down for a par. I was getting attacked by skeeters here. You'll see me pushing some stuff out my face. A little bump and run with a wedge that... Bumped and didn't run. Just took one hop in the grass and died. And didn't, didn't even get out of the fringe. I have this going right to left. And it started right to left, but right here it goes back to the right, which I did not see. You'll see me kind of confused there. <laughs> A little taparoo. For a bogey. Five over through six. Number seven, straight away, maybe a little dog leg left. Uh, and right where I carry my, my driver, it pinches in from the left there, and it's OB. So I usually try to play this out to the right, and if I hit a really good drive, I've got some tree trouble, that, but that tree's about 50 yards out. So the way that I hit my wedges, I hit them so high that I usually try to play this out to the right and take a wedge over that tree at the 50-yard 50, 50 mark. Back into the sunlight. And I could not see this off the face. I believe I hit it out on the toe because it, it had some, I believe it had some uh, draw to it. I missed left rough, but not, I mean, that's right at that pinch point. If I had been another maybe 15 yards left, I'd have been in some trouble. But as is, I've got 86 yards. The ball is sitting down a little bit. I hit a decent wedge. Just goes a little long. Kind of had one hop and stop though, which I'm pretty happy about out of the rough. Trying to make a birdie here to get back on track after a double and a, and a bogue. Through the dew, that was the hard. That was a hard thing. This whole front. And I just didn't start high enough. I think I was reading a little left to right, and it was quite a bit left to right. But an easy tap in uh, par shot there. To remain five over through seven. Number eight is a par three that goes down into a valley and back up. The green is probably about level the tee box, maybe a little bit up, and uh, the, the pin is in the very back of the green. And when the pin is in the back, I have a real hard time uh, scoring well on this because the green is sloped back to front pretty substantially. So if I'm going for the, the middle of the green, it spins to the front. If the pin's in the front, that's great. Put it up in the middle and let it spin back, or even put it up to the front and let it spin off and chip up and down. But the back is tough. I've got a five hybrid here. I'm trying to get to the back, but maybe I should have just played it to the front and gone uphill because I went long and I short-sided myself. There's no green to work with. I'm in kind of a chunky lie and it's sloping real hard right to left here. So at first you'll see there's a pretty good cut. I'm thinking about taking it high on a flop shot and just land it in the fringe, but that chance of success is quite low. And if I skull it, that's OB just on the other side of that green. So I, I make a little more conservative uh, decision here and just try to make a delicate little chip up to the fringe, but it still, it rolls out a ton. And you'll see it just keep going left, even through the dew. 
So you'll see a couple uh, do lines here. The one that looks like it's going from my ball to the hole is a different person that's earlier. There's one out to the right. That was my ball. And this one, I just didn't hit it hard enough. I think I had a pretty good line. So I've got a two putt here to make my, my bogey, which from where I hit the tee shot, it's understandable why I made bogey there. And it's a decent, as that broke quite a bit for being a five, five foot shot. Six over through eight, on to nine. Used to be number 18, which was why 18 is crossed off there. Number nine, uh, we got water on the right, but if you carry it, 250, 260, you clear that water. Um, you have tree trouble on the left, and the, the group of trees just, uh, just up from that water has been dwindled down from that big copse of trees down to only a few smaller trees. So saying that because... I did push it right, and actually I sliced it quite a bit. I was a little nervous about the water because when I slice it, I obviously lose distance. But I did carry it uh, just over that water, and you'll see the trees is down. The trees are down to just a couple trees, so I actually had a look at the green. Took a nine iron from 145, um, and I did not did not take enough. It's uphill. I hit the top of the hill and came back a little bit, so. I should have taken a, an eight iron, but I'm often, often over in that side, hitting up uh, with my nine iron, which is perfect distance. Here, I'm on the side of the hill. I could not get a good angle to film, so I wanted to get a film of the cup, you know, just in case I made it. So I, uh, I filmed the result and not the, not the swing, which I went through with a nine iron chip. So I've got here a putt from off the green to try to get a par. And it just died in the center of the cup. That thing was tracking all the way, and it, it was about a quarter of a roll, quarter of a roll uh, shy. So I was seven over on the front with 18 putts. The putts, I mean, it's not great. I would like to be at 16, and I had a, I had a couple real bad chips and a couple unfortunate, uh, well, one unfortunate water incident there. It's a little higher than what I usually shoot on the front, but. You know, it's not the worst score of my life. And as I've been as I've been doing every single course vlog I've had on this channel, a pretty poor front and hopefully a great back nine, which is what again what I've been doing. So please come back for the back nine where I score better.